Hi guys, it's Christina, and on Fun Friday, I am doing the TMI tag, which is 50 questions about yourself. What are you wearing? I'm my mint green dress, which I'm sure I wore before in a video, and a gold necklace, and jewelry. I'm not wearing shoes right now. Have you been in love? Yes, I have. And all the experiences have shown me things that I can improve on about myself and who I want to date in the future. Have you had a terrible breakup? <laughs> yeah. I think we all have had at least one. How tall are you? I am 5'4". I am, or 5'5". I'm not sure. I am average for a woman in my family. I'm <laughs> like the shortest one. How much do you weigh? Next question. Tattoos. Yes, I have four tattoos. I'm sure if you've watched my videos, you've seen them before. I have four tattoos. So I have a heart on my wrist. Um, I have sunflowers on my arm. It says shine bright and face the sun. I have cherry blossoms on my shoulder and I have an Emily Dickinson quote on my ribs. You have tattoos on my below and tell me what they are. Piercings. Uh, I do. Uh, right here. I'm not really that exciting. I only have doubles um, on both sides and then I have one up here. OTP. Um, I believe this means one true person and I believe it's someone you would think would be ideal to date or be with. <laughs> On a like, celebrity level, I think I would love to date Katie Sackhoff from Battlestar Galactica, or um, not really date, but I would just love to really hang out with Mamrie Hart from YouTube. I think she's really cool. She's hilarious, um, but she's also just like a really fun, nice person. My favorite show, all my favorite shows are like, crime shows or sci-fi shows. So things like Long Order, uh, CSI, NCIS, Hostel, Bones, um, if I'm forgetting one, I'm sorry. Um, and like sci-fi shows like Stargate Street One, Stargate Atlantis, Firefly. My favorite bands right now, I'm really into Sam Tolson. She's great. I'll put her information below. I think my favorite bands as of right now is O Land or Stars or the Weebies. One of those three. Something you miss. I miss. California and my friends and my family and the beach. I will actually be going home to, to San Francisco um, Bay uh, June 24th to the 30th I believe and I will be there for Pride which is super exciting um, and the whole year I've been out here in Wisconsin I've only been home for four days so it's gonna be really nice to just spend a good like five six days with my family kind of get mentally refreshed. That's how I feel right now. Favorite song? The song I have on repeat right now is Pissy That Walk by RuPaul. It's my jam. How old are you? I'm 24. I will be turning 25 the first week of September. Zodiac sign. I'm a Virgo. How do you look for in a partner? I would love to be with someone who's spontaneous and adventurous and doesn't take themselves too seriously goes to the flow i'm not i'm not very uh, uptight and i would probably not do well with someone that's uptight just because i wouldn't <laughs> give a quote if you can't love yourself how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else rupaul favorite actor i would say would be Melissa McCarthy, she was in Bridesmaids, Identity Thief, and The Heat, and they were all phenomenally fun, funny and great. Favorite colors, what am I? I love teal and uh, tur turquoise, so I'm wearing all of them right now. How do you music or soft? Um, loud, for sure. Where do you go when you're sad? 
Bye. I usually don't go anywhere. I, I usually stay home or I go to my sister's house, but I don't act so. I'm I'm kind of um just fake that you're happy until you feel happy. Um, that usually works for me. I'd rather do that than um, kind of wallow. How long does it take you to shower? Probably 20 to 25 minutes. How long does it take you to get ready? Um, everyone I've dated and my family will tell you that if we have to go somewhere, um, you should tell me to get ready like three hours before we even have to leave. I mean, this is a lot of work. <laughs> You've been in a physical fight, I'm sure I have. I don't know. Turn on and turn off. I think turn turn on would be if you can make me laugh and make me feel comfortable and and safe. If you're passionate about something and you know what you want, turn offs would be how you treat people if you're um, really judgmental and not so open-minded, I won't want to be you. The reason I joined YouTube, I joined YouTube to kind of have a video blog that was associated with my own blog, Christina's Devil Whammy, um, and where we talk about LGBT stuff and uh, cerebral palsy stuff disability stuff um, because I'm both disabled and pansexual um, and I just wanted to kind of create a safe space and kind of talk about it more because um, I feel like everyone's talking about um, Mason Zaid and her TED talk and cerebral palsy and disabilities and then separately we're talking about um, same-sex marriage and all of that but I think people forget that you can be disabled and in part of that family. So um, I'm both, <laughs> which can be difficult, but I just wanted to create a safe space where we can make friends and start a conversation and just create a more aware awareness about that. My fears. I have two huge fears. Heights and clowns. I am terrified. <laughs> Maybe it's because I watched it when I was like seven, probably. The last thing that made me cry about the stress about life and what the future holds regarding career and relationships. Or knowing what I want but not how to get there is so shit. Last time you said you love someone. Um, me to my sister and my mom. Meaning behind your YouTube name. Um, I believe my YouTube name is my own name. Um, my channel name is Double Whammy. And that basically is just being stable and queer in a world where society is very judgmental and pressures you to fit in a specific narrow-minded view of what's perfect. The last book you read, the last book I read was a Kathy Wright book. Um, she's the author and creator of the Temperance Run-In series, which are the books that started the show Gone. Well, the book you are currently reading, I'm not really reading one right now. The last show you watched was Bones. There's a Bones marathon going on right now. So that was what I was watching before I started this. The last person you talked to was my aunt in California. She texted me. The relationship between you and the last person you texted um, we're great. My aunt is like my second mom. She's great. Favorite food? I love either seafood or Mexican food. The place you want to visit? Australia? I've never been there and I would love to go see it. Last place you were it was my sister's house. This she's cool. <laughs> you have a crush. Um, I definitely have one. Yeah. Last time you kissed someone, it's been a while. Last time you were insulted, um, I don't know. It hasn't happened in a while. Favorite flavor of sweets. I'm just gonna sound weird. I love 
the root beer ones, like the little root beer hard candies. I haven't had them in forever. My grandparents used to have them, and my favorite brand of root beer is Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer, and I haven't seen that at all. So I'm not... You okay? I'm not sure if they um, don't make them now. Um, what instruments do you play? I actually played harp for about nine years. Um, I haven't played it in a very long time. Um, last four you played. Favorite piece of jewelry? I actually make jewelry. I, I make pretty things. Um, <laughs> I've made jewelry and I sell them and the website will be below. I'm doing a giveaway right now, which will be also on the Facebook page. Yeah, you should go past the movie. Um, last song you sang. I probably belted Sissy That Walk in my car. I'm sure people think I'm weird when they pull up next to me. The last time you hung out with someone. <laughs> Liam came over here at like 3 a.m. this morning because um, he was drunk. <laughs> and we like sat and chatted for like 10 minutes and then he left. He lives right across the street from me. Fun fact. If you want my mom to do a video with me, say yes below. That's it for now. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and like and uh, subscribe. Share with your friends. It's gorgeous here. I hope it's gorgeous where you are. And I hope you have a great day. And live with kindness and lead with love. Just going to quickly talk about um, some pet peeves I have about having cerebral palsy. Um, I did kind of touch on 